This channel is proudly sponsored by Dead Tree Studios, the publishers and developers of the Aims of Astoria, a tabletop RPG where you play as monster girls, experiencing high adventure in a world that doesn't fully accept them. They have recently released the Whispers of Copperidge Adventure module. You will find all of the links in the description and in the pinned comment. Hi! Welcome to part 1 of my review featuring Wretched Noir. This is a setting that you can play using the free Wretched role-playing game. Remember to check out the link in the description, you can get that RPG for free, and this setting represents those situations that you would expect to see in film noir or even noir literature. You have detectives, movie stars, people that try to get on with their everyday lives, but get caught in some nasty situations sometimes. They are usually trapped in a labyrinth of moral or ethical grey areas within the urban landscape. Now let's talk about the quality of the PDF. The quality is excellent, everything is well written, organized and explained. The graphic design, the layout, the illustrations, everything makes sense with the theme that this game is trying to represent. The noir flavor is very strong and the document is fully bookmarked, so you will have no trouble at all making your way through the PDF. Overall, the quality is excellent. Now, let's talk about the contents. First, you start with some fiction. The fiction is somewhat, how would you say, expected of the genre. I am going to be avoiding spoilers. The situation starts with a private eye in his office, a typical situation expected of the genre, and a potential femme fatale enters the office, and things go from there so it's an appropriate introduction. Wretched Noir plunges you into a world of stark contrasts, blinding neon against inky shadows, hushed promises and thunderous betrayals. It presents players with two immersive campaign settings, the noir fictional city of Blackwater, inspired by the gritty atmospheres of Chicago, San Francisco and Las Vegas. And apart from that one, you have the Hollywood-inspired Mirage Hills, which has already been featured in the book Mirage Hills Chronicles. Mirage Hills, though a slightly less gritty shade of noir, fits seamlessly into the wretched noir universe. In the unforgiving city of Blackwater, players will embody the quintessential figures of classic noir and hard-boiled fiction. Maybe they are detectives, perhaps movie stars, maybe dilettantes. The city itself is a character, a hulking evil presence that seems to feed on the misery of its denizens. Now, apart from that, under the California sun lies the city of Mirage Hills, a glittering chimera promising fame and fortune. It is a crucible where art and commerce clash, where artistic visions must contend with the harsh realities of the movie business. Its streets have witnessed meteoric rises and tragic downfalls noble artistic pursuits and Faustian bargains. Wretched Noir challenges you to step into a moral maze, where black and white blur into countless shades of grey. Investigate elusive mysteries that serpentine through the city's underbelly. Engage in tense standoffs, where a well-timed quip can be as effective as a loaded gun. Or form uneasy alliances with those who might slit your throat as soon as shake your hand. And this concludes this part of the review, in the next part we are going to talk about the world of hard-boiled fiction. This tabletop RPG premise is quite exciting. Get ready to enter a world of flickering hope, and where happy endings are uncommon. Thank you for watching this part of the review, don't forget to leave a like, a comment and subscribe. And thank you so much to those of you that are going the extra mile to support the channel. If anyone else wishes to further support the channel through PayPal or DriveThruRPG, the information will be in the description and in the pinned comment. This has been Abraham L. Jaguar, a professional game master. I am currently unavailable for professional sessions, but I will put my contact information in the description and in the pinned comment for when I am available again. And remember, roleplay solves everything. Once again, thank you and see you later.